Let's get some hands together, gang, for Gideon AI. So, turns out that getting multiple attacks at the same time can either increase or decrease your proc rates, depending on the weapon. This affects both one-handers and two-handers, as well as dual-wielding two of the same weapon in both hands. To sum up, if you land two attacks at the same time, the game will get confused and will calculate it differently than expected when it comes to procs. With the Shiver Blade, for example, the game thinks you're actually getting three hits instead of two, and gives you an extra chance to get a proc. However, for the Grim Claw, it thinks you're only getting one hit instead of two, and it forces your chances to proc down to one per spell batch. These effects are magnified when you land three or more strikes simultaneously. And thirdly, some things don't change their proc rates at all and ignore this feature, such as the Red Whelp Gloves. To replicate this yourself, you can use an instant weapon strike ability, such as Sinister Strike, Hamstring, or Wing Clip, or a passive, such as Wind Fury or Reckoning. When testing with activatable abilities, I used the Weapon Swing Timer add-on as well as a simple macro to stop my auto-attack after casting. Doing this will ensure that your auto-attack will land at the exact same time as your castable ability. Add-on link and macro in the description. I've only tested with the Searing Blade, the Shiver Blade, the Skeletal Club, the Grim Claw, and the Red Whelp Gloves so far, so I don't know what the pattern is that determines whether a weapon will benefit from this effect or not. Any and all data or comments are welcome in the hunt to unravel this mystery. That's all for now, and remember, go crazy.